First, to make the handle of the racket, you're going to need a head pin and a ball of clay, any color of your choice. I'm using black because that is the color of my tennis racket. So first, you're going to roll into a ball and push it to the bottom of your head pin. Not all the way though. Then, roll it out. Some of the clay will go over the edge. Now what you want to do is just smooth it out over the, over the head pin because that will give your tennis racket security. So keep smoothing it out and perfecting the, the little end. So you're going to end up with something like this. The end is all smoothed out and the handle is smooth. But then there's this uneven edge here and you're going to just take your blade and cut it and cut the excess clay off. There, you have your racket handle. And then put it in the oven and bake it. Then you're going to make the strings of the racket if by using five of either head pins or eye pins. I'm gonna be using head pins because I'm kind of short on eye pins right now. So what you're gonna do is take some white paint like this and just paint over the eye, the eye, eye pins or head pins. To let your painted head pin or eye pin dry, you can have a slab of clay, either polymer clay or air dry clay, and roll it out and just stab your little painted pieces of wire through. Then you're gonna take a ball of clay for the frame and flatten it into a circle. Use your circle cookie cutter to cut out a little circle in the middle. You can throw away this part, but always keep this the frame. This will become the frame of your racket. If you don't have a circle cookie to cut, if you don't have a circle cookie cutter, you can always use your blade to cut out a circle. Then. When your wires, your painted wires have all dried, you're going to turn them into the strings of the bracket. So I'm going to be doing three strings vertically and three strings horizontally. So just measure how long each string needs to be and trim that. Now you have um, six pieces of wire. So just take the wire and place it onto the bracket like that. Now press down, like so. So you're just going to end up with something like this. And then you're going to cut out a V for the neck of the racket. And attach it on and smooth out the edges. Now take your big racket handle and cut it, the wire down to a really small, you know, really small stub like that. So then you're going to add some TLS to the tip and attach it on to the rest of the rack. Also add this white strip of clay to smoothen out the transition between the, rack, the handle and the neck of the racket. Then bake the racket. To make the tennis ball, get a green ball of clay, add some TLS, and add an eye pin. Bake this as well. So after baking your charms, you're going to draw the white lines onto the tennis ball and glaze both of your charms. Add jump rings and attach it to a cell phone strap to make it a cell phone charm. Or you can attach it to a key ring to make it a um, to make it a key chain. So here is your finished product. And here is another one that I made that I turned into a key chain.